What do you think the cause of the surge in this case here, a regular case of phaco emulsification in patients with shallow antechamber and nuclear and cortical cataract? I started the surgery as usual, 2.2 clear cornea incision, 5.5 rexes, then while doing the hydrodissection, the nucleus flipped through the pupil into the IC as you see. The phaco machine used here is Centurion. The setting was torsional 70 and intraocular pressure 75, aspiration flow rate 35. Once I started, you can see there is a surge. Once I start to emulsify this cataract, I found there is sudden shallow in the antechamber. You can see here again. Here you can see the sudden shallow in the anterior chamber. Surge occurs during phaco emulsification when outflow exceeds inflow and a sudden rush of fluid from the anterior chamber occurs post occlusion. Here I started to think what are the causes of the surge in this patient with already shallow anterior chamber. What comes to my mind that maybe the phaco probe is not suitable in this case so I asked them to change the FACO probe and I continue the FACO emulsification as you see I thought that the problem it is in the FACO probe so I change it to another FACO probe the other cause come to my mind that maybe the any flow the irrigation is restricted with the FACO incision which uh, was longer than usual as this case the antechamber is shallow so sometimes it is important to enlarge the FACO incision slightly to release the restriction of the inflow into the anterior chamber here I don't enlarge it but I change the FACO probe and I continue the emulsification of this cataract and everything went very well. Here you can see the pupil is constricted, you can see removing the cortex using the bimanual irrigation aspiration through this small pupil. You can see I used twisting the paracentesis while removing this cortex which can help me in dilating the pupil during the uh, removing this cortex you can see the pupil is dilated while i twist the pupil is dilated you can see here also removing the cortex after that i implant single piece hydrophobic IOL and the surgery went without any complication the IOL in the back you can see the pupil is small then removing the OBD and you can see how we overcame the surge during this surgery and you can see now the follow-up on the next day how the cornea is clear and Thank you for watching.